welcome back, everyone. We are now on episode number 11 of Podcast Live with my boy, WT. And we have a very, very, very special guest tonight. Super special guest. We have Caitlin with us. Uh, Caitlin, uh, first of all, I got to say, uh, I'll let you introduce yourself a little bit, but you are uh, you recently joined the Guild of Guardians team. Uh, you work with both the internal and external uh, partners on all aspects of the game. Uh, you have a very, very, very uh, crazy resume and a very impressive resume. Uh, I'll let you explain it all, but you've you know you've you've done runway walks. You've built uh, arcades. You you know you're just uh, there's so many things that we can go on and on about. But I'll let you introduce yourself. So, Caitlin, tell uh, the crew and everybody uh, about yourself. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm Caitlin. I am the producer on Guild of Guardians. Um, just started recently, but it's been pretty amazing. Uh, my past is so hectic. Uh, <laughs> done a bit of everything, but um, yeah, actually, when I left school, I became a model and traveled around the world doing that. And got to shoot for Vogue and Prada and did catwalks for Prada and Chanel and Louis Vuitton and all that as well. Um, which I never used to mention, but I realized recently that it is actually like, it's part of my journey. So let's talk about it. <laughs> right. For sure. Like that stuff's um, important for sure. Like that's, if, if you've done it, those are accomplishments. Definitely. Uh, you know, that's, it's part yeah. of your life. It is part of your journey. Sorry. I keep going. I didn't want to cut you off there, but. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I, I'm like, and then what? I totally forgot the bit where like, I actually, I taught myself how to code and I made a game when I was 13. Um, and my computer teacher didn't believe I did it keep me out of class and my dad had to come in and tell her actually no she has no life she did lock herself into the bedroom for a weekend and taught herself how to code and made this game <laughs> um, amazing but yeah I didn't actually touch that again until uh it wasn't really until I was about 21 I think um <laughs> almost gave away how old I am um <laughs> I started studying IT it was more of a games focused course though, but I never enrolled in the actual course properly and they changed the whole thing. And I didn't want to do it if it was just IT, I just wanted to do it if it was games. So I scrapped that, uh, went and managed an electronics store for a bit and then got obsessed with VR. And I ended up um, in a producer role at a VR and an animation studio. Nice. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's when I kind of started getting like full back into this stuff again. Um, it was where I <laughs> touched my first blockchain project. Um, I actually met the immutable team while working there because they outsourced some art for Gods Unchained to us. Um, and that's how I was introduced to immutable. And then, yeah, through some random crazy events in the last few months, I actually ended up here. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Like you mentioned, you mentioned how, uh, you made a computer. You made like a computer game when you were thirteen. Then you got kicked out of your class because your teacher didn't believe you. Like that's amazing. Like that's that's you know that's pretty amazing. That's pretty impressive, uh, for sure. You said you did the runways for Prada and Louis Vuitton and and uh, Chanel. Like that that's amazing. That is absolutely incredible. I'll never ask. You know, we never mention age. I'm not gonna mention. You never ask a girl her age. You know, uh, WT. Uh, that is. I mean, that is really amazing. Uh, WT uh, is on vacation, so you see he's not with his new uh, normal background, and he's you know doing it from his phone and stuff. And but he's looking as beautiful as ever. Uh, WT, what's going on, babe? What's new? Not much, man. Been a crazy weekend and was looking forward to this. And Caitlin, yeah, she's she's very impressive. The resume for sure. And the fashion industry actually fits into this kind of metaverse universe, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's that's gonna be I think that's gonna really help you in some way of give you a different perspective into this space. So I'm looking forward to see how that comes about. And uh, yeah, man, Jack to do yeah. this. And I uh, apologize for my settings. I'm in a giant walk-in <laughs> closet kind of right now. It's actually the front Thanks for door taking time place. out of your vacation for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just thinking about it. I was like, man, it'd be funny. It's like, like if there was some random occurrence where someone was trying to get through this door and it's happening, you know, <laughs> like this. Like, So if you see anybody come through this door and they look sus, call 911 for me, please. You got it. You got it. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, you said you're into VR. And so I love VR. I have a VR set myself, myself and I absolutely love it. Uh, you do like the festivals and stuff, right? You do like festivals and stuff on VR? Yeah, I freaking love festivals. Um, we have Splendor over here, which is like one of the big festivals mm -hmm. in Australia. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but uh, yep. last year because of COVID, it got cancelled and they did Splendor XR. 
um, and they did it on the Sansa platform, which I actually thought was really well done considering like, you know, budget and time constraints. Um, but I had the best time. I had like probably the best weekend I'd had all year. <laughs> Not that like, you know, the bar was very high during COVID, but it was awesome. And I made heaps of really good friends out of it. That is cool. I couldn't even, yeah, I've never, I've never, I couldn't even imagine like a VR concert. Like I, uh, like I said, I love VR. I play VR all the time, but I've never, I can't, I can't, I don't know. I have to check it out. I have to try it for sure. That's pretty sick. Which headset do you have? Uh, Oculus. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to, we'll have to do a festival. We'll have to do a festival. So I know you're, so you're, you're involved with, with both the internal and the external partner stuff. Are you, does that mean you're in part, you, you've, uh, you've worked with the, uh, the alpha? Are you part of the alpha? Like. Do you have any, uh, tell me what your part, what, what your part in the alpha is. So going to be honest, most of my part in the alpha was actually just making sure it actually got out to the community, um, and helping Ryan and Carla a lot. Cause a lot of what the alpha already had was done when I joined the team. Um, since I started, I've been working on the next alpha, the public alpha, which has been really exciting. Um, but yeah, and then just helping getting all those last bits and pieces together to actually give it in a working way to everyone. Because obviously what is out at the moment, it's not the final thing, not right. even close. <laughs> right. Um, but there's a lot of features that obviously don't work if there's not like a proper economy around it and stuff like that. So it was best just to get rid of them and give the stripped down version so we can get proper feedback on the actual gameplay and the mechanics of it. Right. And I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people have been waiting for this and, uh, I gotta say, man, I'm personally just hooked. I'm loving it. Uh, are you playing the alpha? Are you playing it at all? Oh yeah, I had the highest dungeon, not just in our team, but like through the whole community for a really long time there. But then, yeah, once the actual like weekend kicked in and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in to help everyone, and then I actually had to work. You know, yeah, 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 exactly. On, on like alpha today, so. <laughs> Nice. So, so we just got a leaderboard that just came out and what are your thoughts? So what are your thoughts on the weekend results? Like there's been like, they put stats out with so many, uh, dungeons, so many monsters killed so many, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Is that, is that a lot higher than you guys expected? Is it kind of where you guys thought we'd be? Is it lower than you expect? Like what, what are your thoughts on the results of, of all the stats coming out? I think it's about where we thought it would be. I think everyone's got um, a lot further through, a lot quicker than we thought. But, I mean, that's all good feedback because it means we can improve it for the next one. <laughs> that's kind right. of the point. Um, but, yeah, the, I mean, there's people getting um, starting to do epic merges and stuff. Uh, I can't remember if that started last night or this morning. I only saw it this morning. But um, that was pretty exciting. I'm hooked. I can't stop playing. I'm telling you right now, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Uh, WT, man. What do you- it's like an alarm for like your energy's refilled. Like every kind of couple of I know. It's like, that's like the thing you're waiting. You're like, okay, I'm clicking. It's like not enough energy. I'm like, okay, okay. okay. What am I going to do now for the next, you know, what am I going to do? I just want to keep playing. I don't want to stop. You know, I just can't stop. I can't stop. Uh, WT, man, what's, what's going on? Man? What do you think, man? Yeah. The, uh, the energy crisis is real. It yeah. is real. <laughs> affecting everyone. No one's happy about that. Now, it's part of the game. Uh, energy management is going to be a huge part of the game. We've kind of known that from the AMAs that uh, the team has said. Um, uh, what What is uh, – what's uh, we're talking about energy. I'll just bring it up. What's your thoughts on the energy uh, distribution so far? Are you guys happy with how it's going? Does it need to be tweaked at all? Too much? Too little? Uh, and I think we're all seeing the value – of the energy booster so what's your thoughts on on all that that i just gave you there um i think we definitely can all see that it's yeah it needs work for sure um i think it just needs to be last a little bit longer maybe this is just my personal opinion Mm -hmm. josiah's been at um uh, game developer conference at gdc so he'll be back tomorrow and we can actually chat through it properly uh but yeah we all see the feedback we we know that that Definitely has room for improvement there. It'll just be about getting the right balance with, you know, the rest of the stuff that's coming. Right. And and like like WT was saying with the energy boosters and stuff. Like and again, this is like this is pre this is alpha. This is like early on. This is just the first playthrough and stuff. So I mean, this is not a complete game. It's not a finished game. There's gonna be a lot of tweaks and stuff going on. And yeah, I agree. Like I, I you know, we've been saying this from the from the beginning, WT and I, like energy boosters are a must. Like you know, that to me. Um, is something that like you're going to need in this game. And then this alpha kind of proved it. It's like, listen, everyone's like, you know, I was like, where's the energy? Where's the energy? Where's the energy? Well, Hey, um, you know, it just proves that the energy booster is going to be very, 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 very important. Um, 
So it seems like uh, the bugs have been pretty minimal. Like there's not has been too many too many bugs. Like from what I've seen, anyway. I mean, I haven't. To be honest with you, I haven't experienced any game game breaking bugs or anything like that. Um, have you guys noticed anything that you kind of weren't prepared for? Any bugs you kind of were like, okay, we didn't see that coming, or are you guys pretty happy with what you've seen? We're pretty happy with it. Um, the bugs that have come up quite frequently when you were there, we saw them kind of come through, but it was kind of a matter of like we could keep spending time polishing or we could get it out and get it in people's hands and get some other feedback as well. Um, so that's why, you know, we had the kind of, if this happens, this is how you fix it because it isn't game-breaking. We want to see how it plays the rest of it. Um, there's a couple of new ones there, but, I mean, it's expected. They're already, like, working on it, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. The stuff that needs to be done is already in the pipeline. Because I gotta, I gotta say, like the the game. Now here's the thing, you know, um, <clears throat> the game, the gameplay is blowing my mind. The 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 fun factors blowing my mind. The characters are blowing my mind. Um, or any of the heroes or the monsters, do they seem kind of like where they where you want them to be? Are they kind of overpowered, underpowered? Do you need to tweak anything? The the reason, like, what's the reason why you picked these heroes to be a part of it? You know, um, mm -hmm. where 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 do you see yourself with the heroes and the monsters right now? Anything need to be kind of tweaked a little bit with them, or they they kind of you know where you where they should be? Yeah, there, there's a couple of things that need to be tweaked. I don't know. I'm like I'm on the Discord all the time, and I, everyone's like, "Yeah, Morax, so OP." And I'm like, I can't get Morax to like explode at the right time. What are you guys <laughs> doing that I'm not? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I. Yeah, it, it's definitely the stuff there that will be tweaked for sure. Yeah. Um, I had to help think about that for a second because we just got like uh build for the next thing for like an internal thing and i got to play with some other characters today which got nice. very excited <laughs> I, saw um, some. I got a oh quick yeah. question like if you think they look good now wait till you see what's going Sick. Awesome. yeah uh so like i noticed right off the bat and maybe this was intentional but i i know the team has said that there's gonna be characters that are more optimized for certain dungeons and everything going forward uh i I have yet to get a Morax, so I'm not in the Morax club, which is kind of funny. And uh, even my son has not gotten one yet. But what we did notice right off the bat was Rowan was a game changer for us. As soon as we got him, it like opened up the doors for us. So is that pretty much along the lines, or was he a bit OP, do you think? Or are you allowed to even say that? Well, I liked it because, yeah, that's my favorite in the pre offer as well. Um, I didn't personally think it was OP, but I'm sure once yeah. once we go through and review and see <laughs> where all the actual kills and stuff are coming from, we yeah. might have to look at it. I, would, I wouldn't yeah. say that Rowan's OP. I think it's just that it, it changes the dynamic of the team. Uh, you know what I mean? Because now you have a healer kind of thing. Someone kind of kind of help your team a little bit. But uh, there's going to be different dynamics. And and here's the thing: these are only the characters we're playing with. I mean, there's there's so many other characters out there we have no idea. So when the game comes out, these these characters, Morax and Rowan, and they could be characters that are just you know we're we're going to be using other characters and stuff like that as well. So yeah. Um, um, uh, anything the team. So what's the main thing that the team out of this alpha? What's the main thing that the team sees that they want to improve the most? Is it like the energy thing? Is it the the time of the dungeons? Is it what are the things that they want to improve on or need to improve on? They feel. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of work on the balancing of the levels. Um, I I mean I felt like I felt it as well, but I did see some feedback in there around like you know it's almost like waves of like oh that was way too easy and then oh, I'm stuck here for days. Right, right, right. <laughs> So there's probably going to be a bit more balancing around that for sure. Um, yeah, I think a lot of it's going to be that, just managing difficulties and right. uh, yeah, power yeah, abilities. I, guess. I noticed. I noticed it was what is it? Brim four. It was a brim four. I think that's oh, when it really. Four. Yeah, it oh, really jumped. <laughs> like it really jumped. Like. You're just, you know, plowing through, you're doing your thing, minding your business, and then next thing you know, it's just like, pow, Brim 4 comes, like, whoa, okay, 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 this really, you know, th that's a game changer. And I sat there for a little bit, so... But there's been different strategies and stuff. There's been different strategies like that to, to move on and stuff. And I figured some out too. Like I'm on the end now. I'm at 12 uh, myself. So it's like, I, you know, you, you figure it out. You got to, because my problem was at first I was just ramboing everything. I was just going in and just running through everything and just like speed running. And then I get to Brim 4 and it put me in check a little bit. It's like, yo, relax. You know what I mean? So I, uh, I, I learned real quick. I'm like, all right, now I got to kind of just play it out a little bit. You know, chill, relax, 
And uh, man, I, I'm loving it. Like I, I can't stop thinking about it. Like I, you know, I, I stream, I stream full time. I'll be streaming a different game, and I'm just like, I, I just want to be playing Guild of Guardians right now. Like I don't, I don't want to be doing anything else. So it's been taking over my life, my sleep. It's just, it's been awesome. I, I mean, I am absolutely like just loving it and uh and you know i love the dungeon crawler stuff and i love the the mo i like mobile games too so this is just you know to me this is like exactly what i'm what i'm looking for so for me this is perfect uh perfect That's perfect awesome. oh yeah i'm loving it i'm loving it. so you play you play sea of thieves uh here right <laughs> yeah yeah big sea of thieves player <laughs> so i love it so much i haven't played the new season that came out recently though when i uh when i started streaming my very first stream my very first game i played sea of thieves very very first one yeah yeah very first thing was sea of thieves so yeah i know all about it man i know all about it it's awesome uh wt it. it's, it's one of those games though that we're like I have to block out the whole day. Like I'll have my snacks ready and it'll be like 10 a.m. I'm like, all right, friends, get online. Let's yeah. go. And it'll go to like 2 a.m. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, what have I done? <laughs> I've like... <laughs> been there many times. <laughs> Nothing but sail the ocean all day. <laughs> many times I've been in that in in, in that boat for sure. Uh, WT, which you got to go. Uh, bring it up, WT, what do you got? Uh, unfortunately, I have no idea what Sea of Thieves is. Oh. When I see that in your bio, I was like, well, I got to check that out. And I, I wanted to, but I've just been too busy lately. But uh, I definitely will check it out. It, it, I'm sure it's it's pretty interesting. And I got to start gaming more. I, mm -hmm. I'm, I get in this thing of like produce, produce, produce. And it's like, I got, you know, I need to actually start playing some games. So I'm looking forward to this. And now that we're going to be able to stream it here really soon, yes. when I get back, I'm looking forward to doing that. So, like Bruno said, this has been absolutely amazing, and to be honest with you, I've I've been blown away that there hasn't been more bugs or hindrances. Mm -hmm. It's it's been very smooth for a pre-alpha. You would expect a lot more crashes or or something that's causing a barrier where you guys have to actually do like a hot fix update or anything. We haven't seen that. That's very bullish in my opinion. So hats off to you guys and. Uh, to shift it into something else, there was uh, – Bruno and I, we, we, we adamantly agreed on this. I don't think we're alone. Is there any uh, updates or talk about our mass collection of gear that we have to cycle through and try and figure out, all right, which is better? And, like, do I really need to be holding on to this? Because, like, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm like, ow, my finger, ow. No, I'm joking. But what <laughs> – got any plans for that at all or – Oh, hundred percent. Um, have you guys seen from before I started, but I've been through all of the channels. Uh, Nick did a couple of UI leaks a while ago and, um, you know, we don't leak stuff unless they're, they're leak worthy. You know what I mean? Just as a <laughs> little teaser for what's coming. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but yeah, no, the UX is going to be massive improvement. Um, I think, uh, you know, only having that like one type of each sort of gear that you can put on um, was super confusing for a lot of people, mm -hmm. but it is just pre alpha. We're, we're not putting everything in there straight away. Uh, once you get all the different sorts, it's like a much more clear, the actual UI is way more readable and beautiful. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you don't get that crazy XP bug where you think you're getting like a thousand, but <laughs> you get like two. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing too. And the other thing too, in the game, there the XP, there's going to be like rare, like NFT XP, uh, sorry, um, you, uh, equipment too, right? So this is yeah. just the common unit, uh, uh, units or armor that you're getting just from, from going through the dungeons. There's going to be, you know, more stuff coming through and stuff. And yeah, I, I think the, for me, the the armor system right now, but again, you say like it's pre-alpha. The armor system for me is is the the only thing, if anything. And then you know, I want more. I want more energy. But that's me being selfish. You know, that's me being selfish. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm telling you, other than that, man, this has been absolutely incredible. We've been waiting for this for a very long time, and and I'm not like I am so happy with like what I've seen with it. Uh, I, to be very honest with you, it's even blown out my expectations. Again, like like W2 was saying, this is a pre-alpha. Usually, these there's a lot of bugs. There's problems, crashes. I haven't witnessed any of that. And I'm even like trying to look for bugs and stuff. Cause at first I'm, I'm like speed running everything. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, I'm just, I'm just so excited to play. But then I'm like, okay, well I got to actually sit back and like try to find some bugs. I got to try to, you know, yeah, like, and try I, break it. Let's yeah. <laughs> like literally I'm trying to break this game now and I, I just, I can't. So I'm just like, you know what? This is, this, it's been incredible. Uh, I think, I feel like the archers, the archer enemies are tough, man. The archers are, oh, yeah, they melt really you. Cool. Like they just melt you. If they get like, that's, that's, that's what I find the hardest for me is, is the archer enemies. Uh, just absolutely uh just just tearing you apart 
but I mean, so the game. There were a couple of different strategies with that. There was the one where people were going, like, just running past them and letting the other team, right. uh, other squad members, like, attack him. Yep. I had the total opposite. I was running straight to them, getting them first. What right. What are you guys doing? Yeah. So, that's, so I do, actually I do both. It depends on, on the scenario. Yeah. Um, if it's like if you're on a bridge, I'll just charge at them, take them down. And then sometimes what I do when I go in a room, I'll run around, uh, I'll run around to gather all the, the enemies together. And then I go in and crush them. So I kind of like loop them in. All, like I kind of like, uh, um, heard the yeah, I heard them. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Cheddar. I heard them a little bit and then we just AOE damage everything and uh, just kind of just kite around the, uh, the archers. Yeah. There, there's been a lot of interesting strategies. You know, you're talking to people and, uh, and, uh, it's just, it's interesting to see how people are doing. People are, you know, they're, uh, another way to do it is, um, hit points regeneration. You know what I mean? That's uh, another strategy that people are using where, you know, if they take damages, because that's the thing is, is, you know, a lot of people, once they, they clear that room, they just rush to the next one. Well, just chill. Wait, wait a couple minutes. You can heal up a little bit, heal up your, your stuff. Cause there's a passive regeneration and then move on. And that's what I've been, I've been using both. So I've been doing kind of uh, both of that regenerating and moving on. And that's what actually got me past brim four um in the first place because i was just that was Not. that one was oh wow i was listen it was a i think it was brim four or seven i don't remember which one it was but uh i was like stuck there and i and i was too afraid because i didn't want to lose i wanted to get more shards and you know what i mean you don't want to you don't want to so i was like i can't go on so i just kept farming and farming and, and lucky for me i have uh, like the full squad now i have all the the merged characters poor you know wt I have, I have two more axes buddy I, I wish i could give you one but uh you know just to rub it in a little bit i mean i don't know you know what i mean but uh yeah you know i have the full squad now so who, who are you guys using anyway i'm using morax tomo rowan and uh kitwe Oh, which is not a popular oh. scene. But I'm using. We are at the moment. I'm using those three with the one that starts with the. I don't even know how to say his name. The one that starts with the Z there or Z. I don't know how you guys say, I say Z. I'm Canadian. I've gotten this far without having to say his name. I don't even know how to say his name. Does anybody know how to say his name? What is it? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. I better find out. I'll yeah, <laughs> but it's man. I tell you, this has been so fun i uh and and i guess we get like i don't know if they're we're gonna be able to stream it soon so once i once i'm able to stream it i will be so i mean i hope people come in and check it out we can kind of break down strategies and stuff and uh it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome 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 so i i saw another leak um where there was legendary characters which one was that in was that like the other day the ones that i was playing or is that yeah, it was just recent. It looked like it looked like maybe Leah was in there. I thought Leah, the the girl with the with the shield that she takes apart. What's her oh, name? Freya. Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, I seen that one too. Yeah, it was interesting to see. And uh, yeah, so uh, do we? I don't even have more X yet, but will we be <laughs> able to get to legendaries or? I uh, you will get to epics. I don't know because. Um, I'm sure you've noticed that, like, the levels of what they are in here aren't what, you know, their final thing. Um, more acts isn't a rare, so I can't remember right. off the top of my head who, after the rares, gets spawned in. Mm -hmm. um, I have to check out the Discord. Yeah, I got so excited that there was, like, an epic getting spawned right. that I didn't even think to actually look what it was. <laughs> <laughs> And now, so we're going to be able to, so we're after like Morax and all that, are we going to be able to, cause I know I like I said, I have two Moraxes, so I went to go merge and you can actually merge those ones. So is there another tier of characters, another set of players or, I mean, can we not even know that yet? Um, I don't think there is in this particular one, but I could be wrong there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Yeah, well, our team. That's why I'm like, I want to say yes, but I've not seen it happen yet. Right. So. Right. I'm getting uh I'm getting to like a hard decision here soon. If I get uh one more tomo, because that for whatever reason I am it's raining tomos on me. <laughs> if I get one more tomo, I'm gonna have the option to merge five tomos, but I'm scared wow. to because I need that main character. So I'm like, I'm gonna have to make the hard decision. Like, <laughs> do it. What do I do now? <laughs> do it. Do it. This is alpha, man. Yeah, just do it. You you can always do your progress like. Well, the next one anyway. Just do it right yeah. at the end, just so you can say you done it. Yeah, yeah. Because um, like we don't keep any of the, the progress, right? So, no, not for this one. Um, I had a community member this afternoon actually. He just like randomly sent me a meme, and it was like leaderboard, and then it was like me shards leaderboard because he's like he's got like a thousand shards or something. 
to like summon them all at one time, but then he saw this leaderboard. It's like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> are you uh, are you playing it very differently? How far have you got? Have you got to the end? Um, I'm up to room eleven at the moment. Oh yeah, I haven't, so, I haven't passed it yet, though. To be honest, are you on the leaderboard? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not included. I'm going to test oh, hash code. So that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I apparently I made it. I didn't. I didn't check it, but apparently I'm on it somewhere. So that's oh, uh, it. we got to check. It. I, I got to check it out. I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't see. It's it's early morning for me. You know what I mean. So I'm like, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm still waking up here a little well, bit. That must so. have been super fun because you guys would have been like asleep when we uh launched it right was that like yeah. a fun thing to wake up to yeah so exactly i just i woke up and, and someone pinged me and said hey congrats for being in the top whatever and i was just like okay so i didn't even get a chance to look at it because you know we jumped on here so uh but yeah awesome that's pretty pretty cool and there's like the rewards and stuff that come with it that's pretty cool i mean and that's another thing i want to say is like the fact that we're allowed to play the alpha you get you know like we have this opportunity but the fact that we're getting rewarded back for it is just incredible like that's something that that the, the team didn't have to do nobody had to do that but the fact that we're getting rewarded for it as well is pretty pretty impressive and pretty cool and like i would play it just for like i would just play it to play it like you know everyone's been waiting to play it so the rewards is just a super 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 bonus uh for sure um now so you said there for the uh armor system they're gonna there is a revamp on it i like, not a revamp but they 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 understand the problem with it or or the complaints i guess right so i think for me the biggest one would just be like a mass like you know clearing out the section or something like that you know what i mean just because there is a lot of the the same ones that you're not going to need you're kind of scrolling through um now in the game i don't know if, if you have the answer if you can but is is if we break down the the armor do we get anything from it or just kind of throw it out and see you later i don't know what i'm allowed to say with this okay then don't even there yeah are plans for it all like uh i think mm -hmm. um like we're actually, we're so, so, so far ahead of where this free alpha is mm -hmm. in terms of development um, for the next, or for the public alpha. Um, there is a lot of functionality that is missing in this pre alpha that really explains the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And is like a lot of that stuff around the UX for that, it doesn't look like it makes sense, but once you see all the rest of it and right. all the buttons are turned on and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, it, it's good. Right. Is it, which is, you know, that's the, like, really interesting thing about pre alpha as well because it's, like, there are things that you kind of have to take with a grain of salt with the feedback because we are already way beyond that. We're already doing something much more improved in that. So the feedback's good, but also we're already doing something cooler. And that's and here's the thing. We're only on level two. Like, we're only on Brimstone. There's so much more of the game to come out and so much more. So, um, you know, and obviously everyone's so excited to play. They're rushing through it and they're kind of doing their thing. But... This is the way I look at it. Guilty Guardian is a long a, a game that's out there for longevity. They're not out there to play for a week and then you turn it off. This is a game they want to last for a very long time. So, you know, I know a lot of people that are they're rushing through and they're trying to, you know, get everything, blah, blah, blah. I think it's just everyone's so excited to play and that's the thing. So, yeah, like there's so many levels out there. There's so many things, so many characters, so many armor pieces. There's the guilds we still haven't even uh, played with. There's just so many factors in there that we don't even know yet. And like you say, I'm sure once everything's pieced together, you know, it's going to, everything's going to make a lot more sense. Uh, I mean, you know, of course. And and I tell you, the the gameplay has been been amazing. I like I said, I don't know. WT, have you seen any great game break breaking bugs or anything? I even I literally haven't experienced anything. And I, I'm not even I'm not even just I literally have not experienced any bugs, no crashes. I, I've nothing. I've had no problems at all. Which which I was expecting. You know, like I said, I was expecting crashes. I was expecting you know get stuck. I was expecting this and that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, one thing, you know, the speed of the dungeons in the games, um, a little at first when they first came out that with that uh, announcement saying, Oh, they're gonna be like two minute dungeons, I was like, That's really fast, like, you're not gonna get any momentum, but I get it now. Like, I actually, it, now when you play it, you get it, uh -huh. and you're like, Okay, it makes sense, you know. Uh, yeah, and I like it. At first, it was like, you know, dungeons should be like 10 minutes, five, you know, but no, no, this, this, now that it's two minutes or whatever it is, three minutes, whatever it takes. It makes sense to me, so it's like one of those things where you got to play it, experience it, and then the it, you'll get the answers by by doing that. So, but yeah, I haven't experienced any game uh, game breaking bugs. I don't know, WT. What about you? No, we we had one minor one when we were first loading up with the UX, but it was it was super minor, and I think everybody was having it where the you couldn't get past. Uh, I forget which character it was. It it wouldn't load properly, and you had to like reset it a couple times to get it to load. But besides that, there was one other one with. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my wife's taking a picture of me right now. <laughs> She's trying to throw me off. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so 
the bat and uh, one well, a character getting left behind. But besides that, we have not seen anything. And I've I've been on my son like, hey, if you see anything, anything that doesn't look real, bring it to me. There, there's been like I said earlier, there's been there's been like practically nothing. And for that to be at this stage, we don't even need a hot fix every anything yet. That's like super super bullish. And uh, yeah, just hats off to you guys. You, you guys got you guys got something here. I know Bruno's excited about it. I'm excited about it. Um, mm-hmm. I just I got one quick question here. The the set of heroes that you guys came in with, I'm sure you guys had this all planned out. Was this uh, was this like the perfect route for this dungeon, or was it maybe like an average route for this dungeon, or or maybe you guys didn't even think about it. you just threw it in? Can is there anything you can uh, uh, extrapolate on that? To be honest, that decision was made before I joined the team. Um, but from what I've seen, I reckon just because like everything we're doing is so cal- so calculated and there is so much thought behind every single thing, I know that there's a reason. I reckon it's something to do with like maybe the spread of the different abilities um, and the different types of heroes they are and what they can bring into the game and all working together. Um, that being said, though, they wouldn't give away everything. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know the exact reason, but it was intentional is yeah. all I know. Yeah, I was going to say that every everything I've seen has been so like calculated or just on purpose. So like you say, there's definitely a reason for it. They know what they're doing. Uh, very, very smart team behind it. And and yeah, like you say, everything, it, it's there for a reason uh, for sure. Uh, who's your favorite character? Oh, I don't know. I honestly like I <laughs> I know which ones look pretty, but like I want to play them before I decide which one's good because I don't want to pick the one that looks pretty and then you dud. Then yeah, yeah, you <laughs> level up and then you're like, oh, what is this? Yeah, like oh, what did I do? <laughs> are you? Um, what about like guilds and stuff? Are you uh, like? Are you going to be part of a guild? Do you guys have like a team guild? Like, what's that? What's how's that going to work? Are you allowed to play in the guilds? Like, I actually am not sure. I really want to. Um, the guild stuff is like something I've been massively part of helping build out so that would be really exciting to actually get to be part of it um yeah yeah, i saw some cool stuff today with it uh you know what i really love about the guilds in guild of guardians so so i actually have my own ar and vr studio as well on the side and we get all the time by companies and you know people getting together being like we want to make a bunch of money off nft game and like cool go for it um but my passion is like proper gaming and that's why I love like, you know, this play and earn, play to earn right. sort of situation where we're making a sick game. This isn't just about making money. It's about making a cool game that people actually want to play. And the fact you get to own your assets is, it's not a second thought as such at all, but it is like, it's a bonus because we have a sick game that people want to play anyway. Right. Um, and I, uh, the amount of like proposals that I've seen come through where I'm like, this is pretty UI for trading, which is all well and good, but please don't like, you know, call this a game. Whether the Guild of Guardian stuff, it is not just a fancy UI for trading, yeah. you know, like it actually has some cool mechanics in it. It's fun. <laughs> People like to Very play fun. it. Very fun. Very fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I, I, I switch and exactly. I, I, we've talked. WT and I have talked about this many, many, many times. This is a game first, and it's it's such you know. And we've been talking about it for long. They want longevity. They're not in just for the hype, quick fix. Everyone comes in, plays, but boom, see you later. It's a boring game. You know what I mean? This is and you can tell they're building this game first, game focused, and uh, and it really showed. It really showed with 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 the alpha that this is. They've really put the effort into the game. This to me, and again, I'm not just you know. I know I love I love this community, the game. I know, and, and it might sound biased, but I'm not. I'm not like this game. Literally, is where play and earn should be. It's like game first, and you can tell that that's that's they because a lot of these you know a lot of ones out there aren't, aren't fun. And if this game to for this game to succeed, it has to be even remotely fun, a little bit of fun, and it's way more than that. So we are so bullish on this. We just you have no idea. Uh, but you also said you also said you have a VR studio. Yeah, yeah. We make uh, AR and VR stuff. It's called Peter. Oh, we got to chat. Yeah. I'm obsessed with VR. You have no idea. So we got to chat. <laughs> Yeah, so keen. Yeah, we yeah. can do our next interview in VR. Oh, so. done. <laughs> Don't even tempt me. I'm already there. Amazing. Well, I, I have a motion capture. So 
I always kind of just like want to jump on one of these in years and do like you know you have my avatar and just do it full virtual production style. the future so, man i'm yeah. telling you it's insane. so you have like that that was called a hapcha suit whatever it's called uh i got a rococo suit it's a motion capture suit that works with like sensors on wow. you instead of the balls yeah wow so, okay like, i gotta get me one of those i gotta get me one of those you're a little bit i think well, you're a little it's further it's ahead in vr it's, it's not the haptic suit it doesn't give you like the right. reactions it's like the body tracking and stuff right 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 so yeah yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean that's that's wild that is wild yeah 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 you're a little i think you're a little further in vr than i i, I get the headset i'm loving it man i'm like living in vr i love it man i'm telling you i, I play it all the time i play it all the time uh that is awesome that is absolutely awesome so yeah like with the so okay now tell, i don't know how far because i know we can only play up to brim uh, 12 right that's as far as we can get in this alpha and you, I mean, I don't know if we can, you know, I don't know what we can know, what we can't know, but you said there's going to be a public alpha. Is it going to be the same thing up to Brim 12? Uh, I don't believe that it's going to stop there. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing a bit of a like reshuffle on priorities, like going through the feedback. At the time, so I yeah. don't like promise anything that's not going to happen. Right. Uh, but What's the biggest feedback would you say out of everything? Other than energy, obviously. I mean, obviously, energy. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Energy, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, energy and um, <laughs> people merging too quickly. Right. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He made that mistake. He made that mistake. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that a, did you, you did that too, right? Uh, was it you, WT? No. No, my, but my son did. He uh, That's he emerged eight eight right off the bat, and I was like, "No, don't do that. Wait for five. Wait for five. And he so he had one one or two heroes, but he was able to get through the dungeon still, but it was just a little bit slower for him. But like, uh, yeah, that, I've seen that out there a ton. Right, 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 <laughs> right. It's so funny. It, um, yeah, now those I mean, it's not funny. It's obviously terrible yeah. when it happens, but it's hilarious and nice. Yeah, it's funny because it didn't happen to me, so it's kind of you know. Um, yeah. Those <laughs> those those heroes that we got in the alpha, those are the heroes we're going to start with in the game, or are those just kind of like, or do we even know that? We don't know that yet, okay. as far as I know. Yeah, yeah. Because they're pretty cool looking characters, man. I got to say, I was like, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I like them. Like yeah, them. yeah. I know. I was good. So, uh, WT. Do you have any uh, questions uh, we want to uh, ask out there? Uh, well, I got one pitch. Uh, this is my, my own selfish pitch here, so bear with me. Uh, uh, Kalia is into vintage clothing. She's got her own little line. It's pretty cool. She's a neat little website I was checking out last night. I know you have been in the fashion world. You've got to know about this little company called Artifact, I'm sure, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, so I know she <laughs> likes to do collabs. So this is just my little wish list. You can do what you want with it, but like I could see you two powerful females getting together. Your 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 uh, you know fashion senses. Maybe talking to them, get something in the works. I don't know, just something I'm a little selfish on. Like, hey, let's do something. With uh, that. No, I love that. I watched your episode where you guys chatted to Kelly, and I was like, Yo, when are we starting our collab? And she's like, You want to do it? <laughs> Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, she's so cool, man. Cool. She is so she's cool. Awesome. Ma massive shout out to Kelly. Mads, massive shout out. Um, you know, she's put a lot of work, a lot of work into this. So massive, 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 massive shout out out there. Yeah, the team has been amazing, man. I, like I said, I love the team. I love everybody. You guys are so cool. So, you know, uh, you got, man, I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the community, man. I'm feeling the team and everything. Mm -hmm. But. But yeah, get a like fashion collab out there. Yeah. You know, I could I could do a, a VR runway or something. I could try it. You know, yeah, I could try it. Let's do it. You know, WT as well. You know, we could we could nah, do it. I'm not doing that to anybody. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> he says no, man. I'm out. He said, <laughs> "You, you're the you. We need you, man. We need you." I say we like I'm part of it now. You know, I say yo, we need you. Yeah. We yeah. need to go. To it's our <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's ours. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll 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 reach out to you, WT. We'll 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 reach out. We'll reach out. <laughs> we'll we'll talk to your people. But yeah, I'll show, up, I'll show up as Cyrus. All right, there I'll you go, dude. I loved that. I don't know if you've seen it, but, but WT for it was a Valentine's Day. He goes shopping out, yeah. and dressed up as. Oh, dude, that was great. You got to watch if you haven't. Yeah, that was that was. That was that was the best, yeah. So, I, like I say, I mean, uh, again, the alpha has been in, incredible. Um, I'm like itching to play now. Um, you know, I've seen some, actually, I've seen some pretty clever people. I, I got to ask them how they did it, but they're playing on a controller. They're like oh. mirroring their phone to the T. I got to figure out how to do this stuff, man. They're like mirroring it to their TV, playing it with a controller. 
uh, I'm an Xbox guy too, so it's like you know what I mean. So it's like I got to figure this out, man. I got to figure this out. I, I saw that as well. I was actually like, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got to because work it out. I'll be on that as well. <laughs> I'm sure if there's anyone that could figure it out, it's you. You're making arcade games and and you know, yeah. I'm I sure my arcade machine. If I didn't have washing sitting right in front of it, yeah, I'd totally put the camera and show you. <laughs> it's very close. That's amazing. Man. Like honestly, like your accomplishments when I was when I was re- I was like, holy cow. Like it's just everything. Like how so even like the the walk the the runway stuff the fashion stuff the like you got it all you got the fashion you got the brains you, you know it, it, there's the full package it's the full package. It's it's so funny because I feel like my worlds are just colliding so hard at the moment. Yeah, like you said, fashion is there is such big opportunities with this with this whole metaverse stuff mm-hmm. and AR and VR oh, yeah. thing. So like you know the people that I'm getting um pinged from that i haven't heard from in years it's hilarious Mm -hmm. but i love it i even um i was actually uh i was oh it's not called the face of australia like i was in all the campaigns for australian fashion week in i think it was 2014 yeah let's say that um and this year they're flying me over to talk about fashion in the metaverse and i was like what the hell like that's that's this awesome. This is a total 180 and I'm all for it. I love it. Yeah. Oh, like the, well, that's the thing. I've seen some things like the fashion stuff in, in the, in the VR world. It's going to be huge, 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 yeah. huge, huge. Um, absolutely huge. That's awesome. That is awesome. And like, you're a part of it. You I said you have your own studio. And fashion for avatars. Oh, yeah. I fashion for avatars. I spend so much money on that stuff. Yeah. 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 The skins and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trust. And even just, uh, I, as like more and more platforms are coming. Oh. Ready Player Me. Oh, is that yeah. the Ready Player? Sorry, you cut out a little bit there, but Ready Player Me. What about it? Sorry. Uh, Ready Player Me is it's a part two of. Uh, I don't know if you call it like a platform necessarily, but it's um it's an avatar system that developers can use in their game. Um, but they've just started introducing their avatars as NFTs, so you can actually own properly your avatar, yeah. and then any games that support that, you'd be able to use that avatar in those games which i think is really cool i think i know what you're talking about you can make your own avatar right and then uh i I have one i have one photo it looks sick yeah i have one i have one i have one best kind of cartoony ones that's pretty sick nice that's pretty yeah no, i know i i love all that stuff i love all that stuff so how are we gonna do a race for the oh you can't be on the leaderboard wt are we gonna do a race on the leaderboard who ends up on the on the highest yeah, but I mean, if you're on 12, I just got to eight this morning, so I'm a oh, little good. behind. So. Good. So you know what? I like this. We should compete then. I like this. You know, I'm already a little bit. <laughs> I like this. And you can't. And you can't be on the leaderboards, uh, Caitlin. No. Nah, I, I've been using one of the test hashes. Um. Anyway, so they're not included. I'll tell you what. I reckon I could chuck. I could chuck my thing through there though, and see if it was a real hash. I could let you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's do a. Sp- I'll do a friendly competition between. The- so you're on. Uh, you're on eight. So we'll do it when you get to twelve. Okay. So I'll tell you what. I, I might get to as soon as I can get Morax. I have a feeling I'm gonna get to twelve real quick. That's that's Morax a Morax beast. <laughs> I tell you honestly, to me, Morax the the thing that's so good about him it's a special move. Once he gets into a crowd and use that like beam or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. just clears it and that's that's the thing you gotta hurt them a little bit and they herd them around just kind of you know do the thing and then pow uh and it works i i, I want to do a friend nice. i hope to find it someday yeah yeah right 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 i want to do a friendly a friendly wager between the three of us okay who can speed right. run the fastest on 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 uh, 12 brim 12 who could beat it the okay. fastest oh, okay. let's do it let's all right do it. screenshots right. screenshots and we'll see all right, all right. I'm gonna lose. I already know I'm gonna lose. I, I've I've already bit off more than I could chew. I'm like talking a big game. I'm I'm gonna be last for sure. But no, I, like <laughs> I'm loving it, man. I'm like I am so 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 hooked on this. And uh, and uh, how long is this lasting for? The office for what? A couple of weeks? How long is it? Uh, till the sixth of April. So oh, yeah, exactly two weeks. Was, two weeks. Okay. And we'll be able to stream it soon. Yeah, um, actually, Kalia has sort of opened that up now. She's going to be get in touch with everyone um, about streaming. Yeah. Oh, man. Be, be ready. Yeah. The stream's hype, man. I'm telling you. You guys got to check it out. The stream is hype, man. We get, we get, uh, I'll be streaming it out for sure. We bring the, we bring the heat. We bring the energy, you know? So, yeah, that was awesome. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if there's anything you wanted, that you wanted to mention, Caitlin, anything you want to talk about, uh, you know, if you want to, if there's anything you're working on, you want to bring up, or if there's anything we didn't mention that you want to bring up, uh, go ahead and bring it up. 
Not in particular. I just want to say thanks for um, inviting me on here and chatting with me. Today. Yeah, you're awesome. And, and Great. Thanks for playing the game. <laughs> Yo, for sure. Great vibes, great energy. I mean, this is awesome. I'm definitely going to chat about VR. Definitely going to chat on VR. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that'd be okay. dope. That'd be dope. What about you, WT? Anything, uh, anything you want to bring up? No, nah, thanks for uh, thanks for having me up here and dealing with all this. And I know it's not my norm. And uh, Caitlin, thanks so much for coming on. It's been a blast. We were looking forward to this. And uh, I was like, yeah, I, I got to make this happen somehow, somehow. So, yeah, it's been a blast. I've absolutely loved Pre-Alpha. The team is just doing a phenomenal job. And as always, let's go. Yeah, WT, I want to say right now, before WT took this, he's on vacation right now, just a heads up. He, this guy's on vacation right now. He said, yo, listen, man, we got we to do it. So he's taking time out of his vacation. It's like, what, 9 in the morning for you? I mean, it's 9 in the morning for me, but yeah, it's early yeah, in the morning. Time right now. It's early in the morning for him. He's taking time out of his vacation. Like This man is dedicated. Uh, he's got his guild. I got to get a guild. Do you have a Guild of Guardians shirt, Caitlin? Yeah, I actually, oh my God, I was wearing my Guild of Guardians jumper. I put my dinner on it, and then I was like, <laughs> Yeah. This one's close enough. You can keep yeah. looks like Girl. it. <laughs> I gotta get. How do I get one? Of, I gotta get one of those. Yeah, I, don't, I gotta. What's that? Real quick. Uh, hey, uh, put down in uh, Bruno's comments in his YouTube. Give a shout out to my wife. Say thank you, WT's wife, because she's the one that let me uh, do this this week uh, or for today. So thank you, WT's yeah. wife. <laughs> he's gonna, he's he's in trouble for like a week for this. You have no idea the trouble yeah. he's in right now. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, that is awesome, and thank you, yeah, for sure. Thank you for letting for for allowing us, you know, I mean, to have this moment. So yeah, uh, again, thank you so much for for everything. Thank you for coming on and talking to us. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, just great chatting, great info, uh, guys. You know, the alphas out there, and we've been uh, we we're hooked. Everyone's hooked. I've been. I've been uh, multiple Guild Guardian discords, you know, with different groups and stuff, and and I'll tell you right now. The consensus consensus has been it's incredible and everyone's just absolutely amped and and when energy that's 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 the two things you know when the, energy yeah, yeah yeah no but I we it's get it from when alpha to when energy right 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 but like I say it's uh, it's it's been incredible 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 and I can't say it enough uh, all right well I want to say thank you very much for for coming on here Caitlin that was you know so so awesome to have you up here like I said amazing resume. Uh, from walkways to building uh, arcades and computers to getting kicked out of computer class because the teacher didn't believe we're at 13, 13 guys building. Uh, so that, that's amazing, man. So there's, uh, you know, that, that's amazing. So big shout out. Uh, and uh, yeah, super cool. Super, super, super cool. Uh, WT again, you know, coming on on your vacation. What a beauty, man. This is the man right here. This is this, this stuff doesn't, this guy right here is the reason why everything, I, I point down. I feel weird pointing down to you, but that's where you are on my screen. Uh, but but uh <laughs> It's just I'm like you're this guy, you know. But anyway, thank you so much again. You're just a, you're you're amazing, dude. That's my that's my guy right there. That's my guy right there. So thank you again, guys. We're gonna close it up. But uh, this was so much fun. Uh, thank you for all the information, and uh, you guys are amazing. So we'll see you next week. Okay, Kate, and close us out. Close us out. What are you gonna say? You do the closing statement. Oh, I don't remember the spot like that. <laughs> <laughs> was there an actual one I'm supposed to? Just say bye. Bye is fine. See ya. Yeah. All right. We're out of here. See you guys later. Bye. Peace, peace, peace.